Oh my. I'm gonna walk, but I gotta walk all the way back up through this. Welcome to a Creek Fishing Adventures 3 for 3. In this series, we're going to be doing three waterfalls in three days and making three videos on them. Holy cow. I chose three waterfalls within an hour to an hour and a half of my house that I've never been to. I go to explore them, also take a fishing rod and hike down to them to see what they look like. What does the waterfalls look like? Is there any fish that I can be caught? And just explore it, have fun. Also probably gonna do some swimming since it is in the middle of the summer. Here it is. Well, I'm trying something and we'll see if this works out. This is the uh, Today I'm wanting to go to Jack's River Falls. That's the plan and I've never been there before. I've been to the trail head and I can't remember how to get back there. I hope I'm going the right way. It's way up here in the mountains and it's a hot day, but there's this, I remember this little waterfall right off the side of the road. So we'll take a look at it real quick. Not quite what we're looking for, but it's really cool. And then we'll get back on the road and try to find this place. Oh yeah, this trail is getting uh, pretty rough. Not to mention, we're right on the side of a cliff right here. Supposedly the trailhead's on this road somewhere. Hopefully we don't end up down there. This is about the fifth tree that I've gone under like this. Hope none of these break off on the way back through. Huh, I think I made it. There's a parking lot. There's three or four vehicles parked here. So all of a sudden, there's all of a sudden there's people here. Okay, this may be it. Let me see which trail I'll start on. And I'm gonna park and we're gonna get hiking. Just a real quick, 1.1 mile in, I'm tracking the mileage. Just past some people, I think they'd camped there. So they were hiking out. Said I had a good ways to go, but this is, <clears throat> I am on the right path. This is the shortest trail. And there's a little creek crossing. Dude, I came down this creek. How is there fish in this stream right here? Take a look at this. Just a little trail crossing. I look over here and there's, it looks like little chubs. There's several little fish. Hey there. That's crazy. How in the world can they be living in this tiny little stream that's way up at high elevation? Like where are they staying at? How'd they get up here? That's pretty interesting. Man, I'm out of breath. It's absolutely kind of so interesting what you come across out in nature. Sometimes the things you barely see. This is ant. It's trying to move this feather around. Why is he moving this feather? I just I just look down and see this little feather moving. For some reason, this little ant's on it. I do something with it. Gotta look around sometimes. All right, finally made it to the intersection. It's like four and a half, five miles in. And the people I talked to said, look for the sign, said no horses. So that's to the right. So we're gonna go down the trail to the right. But the river's right there finally. Man, it's a long trip down here. But we gotta go this way, I think, to get to the falls part. All right, it's time to start fishing. Um, there's some little pools here, but I think as I go downstream, there's like a, there should be a nice waterfall or a couple waterfalls. I've seen pictures of it. So that's what I'm, my main goal was to get to today, but also I just want to start casting in here and working our way down and see what we can catch. All right, there definitely should be some kusa bass. I'm not sure what else. These little holes. There we go. There's one. 
And it's a Kusta bass. That's the, probably the main fish that's in here, I would imagine. Man, it's cool. Such a pretty fish. Just built for these small streams up in the mountains. Got it. It's a little guy. Getting some hits with some little ones. Little Cusa bass. There we go. <laughs> uh, he's not a big one, but he's bigger. He was over there in the shade, kind of come out and hit. Man, these guys are so pretty. They're tiny, just awesome little mountain, little mountain river bass. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of them out there. They're all about four or five inches. Oh, it gets, it opens up pretty good right here. All right, maybe a few bigger ones. Oh, yeah. That's not a big one, but it's a nice Kusa bass. Oh, man. There's a bunch of them in here. Oh, he came off. All right, this is going to be the spot right here. Okay, that one. <laughs> There's literally dozens out there. Nice. That's all there is. There, there's like, I see all kinds of them and that's all there is is Kusa bass, all different sizes. Mainly around this size. It's awesome, it's so cool. These fish are so wild up here. This is about as wild a fish you can go for. Wow, this is a deep spot right here. Eat it, eat it. Nice. Oh, here's my bigger Kusa bass. They're like getting a little deeper areas. There's two or three of them this size. And they were taking taking uh, turns nibbling at it. There's about a, ouch. Man, he's got me. About a six, seven inch one there. Oh, I see some over there. Dude, they're, it's all over the place. <laughs> oh wow, they're slamming it. Oh, come here. Get out of there. These guys eat everything that falls in this water. Oh, this is looking cool. It definitely looked like there's some waterfalls. There's two or three drops right there, and that's, it look, looks like it really drops off over there. Dude, this place is insane looking. Got these falls. Oh my, it's, dude, it really drops off over there. Let's keep going downstream. Starts dropping. Oh, wow, that's awesome. And then there's another drop down there. Wow, what a drop. This is gorgeous. That's a deep hole right there. Oh, nice sketchy looking trail. You gotta get down there though. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I had no idea it looked like this. So pay attention, don't fall, it's a long way down. I want to go down there, but I'm tired. Unless there's a, if I find an easy way down, I'll go down there and walk, but I gotta walk all the way back up through this. Luckily, I got some snacks. Go down here, at least either in this spot or up there, I'm gonna cool off, eat some snacks here in a minute. Oh, this is a steep one. Oh, we gotta go down it. And this is the last place we're going, then we're gonna come back up. break time i gotta cool off and uh eat some snacks before we gotta hike uh let's see how far we gotta go to get out of here i've been tracking my mileage Ooh, 6.68 miles goodness almost seven miles to get out of here time for the oh the uh, relaxing part i've been waiting on this I was counting on it. This water's cool and really clear. But I, uh, before I get hiking back out of here, I'm definitely gonna have to uh, cool down and relax for a little bit. Oh, it feels good. Oh man, it's deep in here. What a place to sit here and uh, take a break, eat some beef jerky. I almost fell asleep right here, probably could. I got a little bit of energy back in me. We gotta start heading back. So I wanna throw around a couple lures, hit a couple other spots. Probably not gonna fish a lot and try to get back to hiking. Goodbye, waterfall. Oh, got one. There we go. Oh, they bit my pinchers off. Still bit it though. It's a, there's so many of the size, it's, it's crazy. They're just little nips. Alrighty. We finally got some easy access to fish. Fish here a few minutes, hopefully get a few fish. Looks really cool. It's a big, deep section. River's got like a little bit shallow pockets. Oh, oh, I see some fish. Come on, hit it. We're following it. Man, some of the fish have been hammering it. Some have been a little tough to catch.
That would hit it. There we go. Pretty. Oh, that's a nice, that's a good piece of bass right there. That's a bigger one, but that's more of a normal size, about a seven inch one right there. Fish on. Pretty little one. Well, there's a really nice looking hole down there to go fish. But man, it is hard getting up and out of there. Look how, look how steep that is. I think I've fished all I can fish today. It's gonna take all the energy I got to make it back to the truck. So, it's gonna have to cut the fishing short, get back on the trail, got six and a half miles back to the truck. I'm too tired to hold the camera. Oh wow, well, I am glad I am back. Let's see uh, how many miles we went total. All right, it's almost seven o'clock. I think I started at one o'clock. 13.23 miles. Well, I'm glad I got it done. It was terrible doing it at 90 degrees in the middle of July. The humidity is so high. Oh man, I'm wore out. That's for sure. I wish I got to fish more. Only fished probably an hour and a half. Swam some, laid it, laid down some, then spent most of the time walking. That's the first one. Hopefully I can get up tomorrow and do another one. This one I've never been to, been wanting to do it. It was definitely a beautiful view. It's That's pretty wild, pretty far out there where most people are not gonna do it. I don't recommend this one unless you just plan to hike to it and get back and plan a whole day and you better be bring plenty of water and be fit for it. The, tr the trail wasn't bad traveling, like it wasn't too uh, terrible, like up and down, and the path was pretty easy, it's just a long way to go. All right, well, stay tuned for the next video. Um, this is one of three that I'm planning on doing. I don't know which one I'm gonna do tomorrow, I guess I'll have to find out. I just saw a bear, I just saw the bear. A big old black bear too, where'd it go? Man. I was worried the whole time about seeing a bear while I was hiking. I drive half a mile from where I parked and a big old one runs across the road. Now it's thundering and good time to get out of here. Thanks for watching.